Well, guys, I find myself celebrating a great possibility once again, and it involves the slow and steady demise of the EU, or at least I hope it does, as do many, if not all of you. The Brexit trade deal will be decided one way or another shortly, and it could also have effects on how other countries deal with the European Union. Like Norway, for instance, who most will know are not an EU member state and are instead a member of the single market with some policies enforced by Brussels. But importantly, Norway has sovereign control over key parts of their economy, including their abundant fishing grounds, proving as we know that fish do not need to be part of a trade deal in the way the EU want. But in the event of no deal, Norway has apparently said they will shut off access to the EU and UK under current agreements that might get Remainers grimming, claiming this will be a negative effect of Brexit, when in actual fact, I would bet Norway will come to the table and make a deal with us if a trilateral one with the UK and EU cannot be reached in the event of a no deal Brexit. But either way, Norway telling the EU where to go is something I will always take, and the party leading the polls over there has stated Norway's deal with the EU is a bad deal, giving the EU yet another headache, and adding to the list of countries with anti-EU sentiment growing fast. Now, the Express picked up on it here, so let's take a look at that in a moment, but first, I want to thank this video sponsor, Monfex who are a trading and investment platform that offers a wide range of trading instruments, including many cryptocurrencies, currency pairs, stocks, and much more. The best thing is you don't need to be a financial expert to become a trader with Monfex because you can learn the basics of trading and financial markets through the Monfex Trading Academy, free webinars, guides, and full-on courses that will help you learn step-by-step -step how to make money using the Monfex platform, which itself uses powerful tools to help you maximize potential gains, which is something everyone wants, especially especially now. And when paired with Monfex's rapid withdrawal system, you don't even have to wait more than a few minutes to access your funds. Not only that, but Monfex is one of the most modern and easy to use platforms well suited to all levels so even a trading novice like me can use it. Because with the world how it is now, Monfex helping you trade like a pro could be a game changer. As I've said before, in this world guys, money talks and bullshit walks, especially now. But enough of me talking about Monfex, the link will be in the video description down below so head over there and check them out for yourself. Now, let's get back to the video and our good old friends in the EU. The Express article headlines. Norway wants to get out a bad deal with the EU. Brussels hit by huge new blow ahead of vote. Norway is seemingly keen on loosening relations with Brussels as a Eurosceptic party tops the polls in the upcoming 2021 elections. So it's starting to look a hell of a lot more like Italy and Greece. The centre party, which is currently leading in opinion polls, wants a looser deal with Brussels. It comes as the ruling Conservative party threatened to block EU vessels from Norwegian waters if a UK Brexit trade deal isn't secured. The Nordic nation is not part of the EU but is part of the European single market, meaning it is forced to follow certain Brussels policies through the European Economic Area Agreement, which it has no say over as a non-member. But the deal allows Oslo to retain more control over key parts of its economy, particularly its fishing grounds, which as I said earlier is very important for many reasons, especially considering how important it appears to be to the EU and especially the French. It previously negotiated annually with the bloc about the management of common fish stocks, access to each other's waters and exchange of fish quotas until the UK left the EU. Now Oslo wants a trilateral deal in place between the UK and the EU, but these negotiations have not yet started because of the ongoing scramble between London and Brussels. So there you can see it, Norway of actually wanting to stop trading with the EU until we figure out something between all three of us. Meaning, if we don't figure out something between us, I expect they will come to the table and talk to us themselves, since of course they control their own fish and can do it. Norway Fisheries Minister Roger Ingbridgeton said, If we don't get a deal by January 1st, we will not open Norway's economic fishing zones to vessels from the EU and Britain. But the centre party, led by someone whose name I cannot pronounce and will not try to butcher, said alternatives need to be looked at, hinting at cutting the cord with the EU. The centre party is also pushing hard to cut the amount Norway pays in grants to Brussels from the $2.7 it paid in 2014 to 2021, something I will 100% support the Norway government or the centre party in doing, and I'm sure the people of Norway would also be happy with them stopping. At the end of the day, we spent years paying billions and billions of pounds into the EU, no Euro European nation should be doing it, that is for sure. Party spokesman on EU relations said the deal we have now is a bad one, much like every deal that any country has with the European Union, something every Brexiteer literally knows. 
We need to discuss the alternatives, he said again. The Norwegian MP said the party wanted something closer to a traditional trade deal like Canada has. Yeah, because they couldn't take the piss out of Canada being so far away, and obviously the EU desperately needed something that Canada has. In opinion polls undertaken by Kantar, Centre registered 22.1% support, while the ruling Conservatives led by Prime Minister Erna Solberg were backed by 20% of voters surveyed. So a slight lead there, but it could be important if the election is actually coming coming up. A bit like in 2019 when the Conservatives got rid of Maybot because they knew the shit was about to hit the fan if she led them into an election, even a local or European one. It goes on, it was the first time the centre party had led such a survey since Kantar began measuring voter habits in 1964. Another poll undertaken by Sunito Research Norway has revealed 49% of centre voters would answer yes, while only 49% would answer no in a referendum on the existing EAA agreement. The centre party leader added, we will look at the election result and take it from there. We are convinced that there are better ways to organise trade and cooperation with the EU, without having to lose the country for power over our own societal development. The Centre Party was founded almost 100 years ago and backed successful campaigns rejecting EU membership at referenda in 1972 and 1994, so you could essentially call them the Brexit Party of Norway. But obviously, they've been around for a little bit longer. In response, a spokesman for Norway's Prime Minister Erna Solberg said the Centre Party wants to rip the foundations from under our market access. No, I think you'll find they just want to save us from the shit show that is the EU, and rightfully so the people of Norway do deserve better. Much like every single person in Europe deserves better than the European fucking Union. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>